Hi, I'm Gina Shrek with Social Connects, and today we're going to do a quick video on how to use one of our favorite tools, Manage Flitter. Now, for our clients, our goal is to build their community, but we don't want to just add a bunch of random Twitter followers to their account. So we want to follow strategic people or strategic accounts for them that could potentially do business with them. So one of the ways we do this is to use a tool like Manage Flitter. There are others out there, but we have found Manage Flitter to work really well for us. So what we do is you can first log in to your Twitter account. And when you log into your Twitter account first, and this is an example, we just launched this Twitter page this week. So we're trying to build up the, the Twitter followers on this account. And so then we would go to Manage Flitter, and it's just simply manageflitter.com, and you'll get this welcome page here. You can sign up if you're brand new to Manage Flitter, or you can um, click Get Started, and it's going to link to the account you already are logged in on your computer. Now, we have multiple accounts signed up here, so I'm always real careful which one. So if I click Start, on here, it's going to connect to the Twitter account that I'm currently signed in on. If it can't uh, pull that, or if, like I've been doing today, switching between different accounts, then it'll ask you to log in. So once you log in, it'll take you to a page that will show you here are people who are not following you back. Now, because we launched this Social Connects page this week, um, I'm not going to unfollow people who aren't following me back because we just started following folks on this account. But let's say you've had your Twitter account for several months, maybe even several years. You may have a bunch of, I call them dead weight. These are people that you connected with a long time ago. They've never uh, connected back with you. So perhaps you want to unfollow them. It doesn't mean you want to unfollow everyone who doesn't follow you back. I follow a lot of news sources or uh, sites that they may never follow back. For example, Fast Company Magazine. They may never follow back, but I want their information, so I leave them on there. But this is one way when you hit that cap, Twitter has a cap of 2,000. You, you can only follow 2,000 people, and then you'll be um, stopped by Twitter from following more people until you get 2,000 people to follow you back. So there comes this point where you're kind of doing this game of, I need to unfollow some people so that I can find different people to connect with, hoping to get that relationship established. So we will go in and unfollow people who are not following back from a long, you know, maybe long time ago. Or we can say, let me unfollow people who do not have a profile picture because sometimes those are spam accounts. In this case, it's kind of funny. This is a friend of mine and she just created her Twitter account. And so I'm not going to unfollow Denise. But I can say, show me people who are fake followers. Again, Denise's name pops up in there because she doesn't have a profile picture. And sometimes it's also based on the number of people that they are following and that are others who are following them back. That, that number is, uh, has a big difference. And so they might be seen as a fake account or a spam account. So you kind of have to use your judgment when you hover over them. It'll give you some information on this account and this one says this account was created 18 days ago could still be new they've never tweeted again could be a new person they're following 700 only 41 have followed them back so they're seen as a possible fake follower I'm gonna leave these alone for a little bit and give it some time these are still kind of new accounts our accounts new on this one so but I can say show me people who are not speaking English Perhaps these are people I want to unfollow. I can also look and say, show me all of those who are inactive. They haven't tweeted or posted anything, and it'll tell you uh, their last tweet, um, you know, and it'll tell you how often they tweet. The account was created three years ago. So, you know, they have no bio. That, that kind of tells me it's probably a spam account. So I can select those, and I can um, unfollow. So you can, you can go through and do that. But I want to look at how do you find people to follow that are more strategic so that you can build your following. So if I go to the follow tab, I want to search for perhaps people who are using a specific hashtag. Maybe there's a conference that I want to go to and uh, inbound 13 is a, a big inbound marketing conference. If I want to follow people before a conference or after a conference, I can 
click on that uh, search, put that in, and it's going to bring up all of these people who are using that search term. And let's say I want to follow a hundred of them. It does allow you to follow a hundred per day. So you might want to do manage Flitter a couple times a week, maybe once a week. But I go to the fast select and I can now just circle or select all hundred. Now obviously I'm already following HubSpot. We're a HubSpot partner uh, and, and it showed that I'm already connected. But all of these I am not connected with yet. And I know strategically they're interested in inbound marketing because they're also attending the same conference. So I can say follow all 99 people. So it's a great tool for following a lot of people very strategically. You can also do a search for a specific person. Maybe there's an account that is similar to your industry or an account of a great a potential customer and you want to follow people that they are connected with. You can also do that using Manage Flitter. So I recommend uh, go beyond the free account. They have a basic account for, I think it's about $12 a month. And to me, it's worth it if you're trying to boost your Twitter followers very strategically. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Obviously, you can connect with me on Twitter, at Gina Shrek. I would love it if you connect with our new Twitter account, at Social Connects. And be sure to check out our website. We have lots of resources there, some ebooks, some checklists for you. Our goal is to help you build your business using social media.